Hey guys, this cauliflower fried rice is for all those on a low carb diet, especially Grand Malays, who even though she's on a keto diet, watches video after video of non-ketogenic recipes on this channel. Even if you're not on a low carb diet, this cauliflower fried rice is so tasty. You can serve it as a meal on its own because it's quite filling. I serve it as a side dish on a day I don't want to serve Nigerian salad. It's so yummy. Here are the ingredients we will need. The accurate list will be in the description box below the video. The red, green and yellow pepper you see here are the exact quantities I used. The quantities you use depend on how busy you want the cauliflower fried rice to look. So it's up to you. Due to the fine suede texture of mushrooms, dirt sticks to them very easily and they never wash off. So I'm not happy with just washing them. I have to peel them as well. Who else peels mushrooms? <laughs> Chop half of the onion and all the garlic like this. Grind the seasonings and herbs. Black pepper. Thyme. Oregano, cumin, and salt. You can buy all these strange ingredients in very big supermarkets in Nigeria. Cut the chicken breast into short, thin strips. Put in a bowl. Add the seasoning and herbs. And mix very well. Blend the onion and garlic. I should have blended this earlier, really. <laughs> When you're making a video, your brain does its own thing. Add that to the chicken. Mix till everything is well incorporated. Cover with a plastic film and put in the fridge to marinate for at least one hour. This is so that all those spices and herbs would have the time to seep into the chicken, making it more tasty. While that is chilling in the fridge, we rice the cauliflower. The fastest way to rice cauliflower for me is by using a grater. It does a great job. I only rice the florets though, I do not add the stock. You can also use a food processor, but be careful not to make it mushy. It needs to feel like grains of rice when you're done. Chop the vegetables like this. After about one hour, bring out the chicken from the fridge. 
and heat it in a pan till pale. You need to stir it quickly at the beginning, separating the pieces of chicken in the process so that they do not stick together. Stir for about 7 minutes or till the pieces of chicken are pale all over. Set that aside. Just like the classic Nigerian fried rice, I'll be frying everything in 3 batches. So I'll be adding one third of each of the ingredients in each batch. Pour this amount of carrot oil into the pan. This is one of the recipes I use carrot oil for. If you're on a strict keto diet, you may want to use coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. When hot, add one third of the chicken. and stir fry till golden all over. Add the mushroom and fry for one minute. Then add each of the remaining vegetables. Stir fry for one minute. Finally, add one third of the rice cauliflower and stir fry for one minute. Add some salt. Stir and pour into a dish. Repeat the process for the other two batches. And that's it! Eat cauliflower fried rice on its own or as a side dish to another meal. Bye! See you soon!